Durante a reunião magna da Academia Brasileira de Ciências, o sociólogo inglês Mike Savage foi um dos conferencistas magnos. Confira a entrevista que eu fiz com ele sobre sua palestra. Uh, you just gave a talk entitled The Challenge of Global Inequalities. Could you tell us, me and the audience, a little bit about the subject of the lecture? Yes. I was interested in the issue about you know, why inequality is becoming such a big issue. Yeah. Uh, why, in some people's words, it's the defining issue of our time. Um, and I want to show that uh, inequality is a very serious trend in many parts of the world. Uh, and the, U the US leads the way. So I uh, talked about the way in which the United States has been the global leader in inequality. But I also want to emphasize that it's not a uniform process across the world. So some parts of the world have seen declining inequality, or they've seen stabilized inequality. Um, and then I reflected upon the fact that actually, if you look at those nations which have been most effective in uh, tackling inequality, they tend to be nations with strong democratic traditions, uh, which believe strongly in the notion of a social contract. That is to say, rich and poor people, people of different uh, races, um, men and women, should all have some stake in the society, rather than society being driven by pure economic logic. So I want to try and show that parts of South America, parts of Europe have done best in resisting inequality. Inequality seems to be like a long-term problem. It's not a short-term problem you can solve with a policy. So what do you believe is the way to solve that? Yes, inequality is a long-term process. It's been building up for a long time. You can't suddenly do one thing and it'll go away. It's much deeper than that. Um, so I think you need to have a kind of basket of different approaches to try and try and tackle different aspects of it. So uh, I think I think one aspect is around taxation. So I think um, taxation policy is very controversial. We have many countries that have a strong view that cutting taxation. Uh, but I actually think you know if people point out that actually taxation is being used for good purposes, we can try and shift that debate. So I do think uh, uh, changing tax policy is good. Uh, education is important. Okay, so raising, you know, raising what's often called human capital. Um, but I think that has to be done in ways which are more inclusive, is certainly encouraging the best students to do, to do really well and go off and get the best jobs. We need to hope to be trying to encourage more inclusive forms of education. So I think together we could try and uh, push in the push in the stretch. That was so interesting. Thank you for your interview.